I hate waiting. Wait for the bus? Wait to be served? Wait in line? Wait to leave? Wait for the doctor, the dentist, the optometrist, the podiatrist, the vet? Hurry up and wait. You wait until your father gets home. Wait, wait over there. Wait for me. No, you're supposed to wait over here. Wait for a date? Wait on the phone. Wait forever. Waiting and waiting and waiting. I can't wait any longer. Let's start the show. How long have they been in there? Almost half an hour. Half an hour? How long does it take to decide a punishment? Mrs. Dufour always stuck me as a rather decisive woman. Yeah, and your dad is ultra decisive. He's the king of decisiveness. I know. Well, maybe they're not talking about you. Maybe they wrapped you up in the first five minutes and now they're talking about uh, vacation spots. I like Hawaii, Jamaica's nice this time of year. My dad is going to kill me. Be serious. Seriously, he's going to kill me. It's not gonna happen. Think smaller scale. I don't know, maybe you'll hide all my shoes. <laughs> Honey, we've decided your punishment. We're going to hide all your shoes. Hey, just because your dad was all like, kids will be kids. Hey, I was hit two once. Peace out. I don't know, Brillo. I've never set fire to a bathroom before. And my dad did a lot when he was younger. But I don't think he ever set fire to a bathroom. We didn't mean to set fire to the bathroom. <sighs> if only that counted. Who knew toilets were so flammable? Hindsight is 2020. What are they doing in there? I just wish they'd come out and get whatever it is. Whatever punishment, out in the open. I just want to know, the waiting is killing me! Aha! Chinese water torture. I think that there is no punishment. They're just sitting in there, making you sweat it out. <laughs> enough is enough! This is inhuman! If they're going to punish me, fine. Just get it over with. I deserve to know what I want to know right now! All right, Borla! They're ready for you. I changed my mind. I can wait. Geometrical or something. Isn't this driving you crazy? Aren't you going insane? It's been less than a minute. Oh man, oh man, I've never been good at waiting. Christmas, birthdays, don't even get me started on birthdays. Stop it! I can't! Come on, you're making me dizzy. Dizzy? Nausea. That's a sign whenever you're. Shut up! Do you want my parents to hear? Oh man, oh man, this is a disaster. Where are they? Shut up, just stop acing and shut up. You don't have to get snippy with me. I know it's what here. I'm sorry. I know you do. I'm not thinking straight. I just, I don't have any room in my head for polite conversation. If my head explodes, you won't get grossed out, will you, Pete? Yeah, but Nikki, there'd be brains and stuff in Pete? It. Fine. How much longer? A minute. This is supposed to be happening to me. To us. I mean, us. It takes two to tango. We did this together. Us. Just you and me. Nikki, what are we going to do if you're pregnant? I don't know. I'm trying not to think about it. I don't want to think about it until we know for sure. What do you want to do? I don't know. I don't either. This isn't supposed to be happening to me. Us. Maybe we should have gotten a different kind. They have those kinds where a blue line comes up if it's positive, but I guess I never had that occasion to peruse that part of the drugstore. Well... You know, thank you for going with me to buy the test. That's okay. I mean, Carol Brandy's boyfriend didn't even return any of her calls. Well, if, you, if I did that, you'd beat me up and you'd have one of my brothers hold me down while one of your brothers did the mambo on my spleen. <laughs> Is that the only reason you went with me? No, 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 no. No, that you came out wrong. Look, Pete, it's okay. We're in this together. It's time. What? It's time. Let's get this over with. Nikki, listen. We're in this together, okay? Okay. 
But keeping that in mind, if I fall, don't let my head hit the toilet. You got it. I'm not waiting. I just happen to be here, in my room, sitting by my phone. But I'm not waiting. This is the 21st century. Women do not wait by phones, waiting for a man to call them. No, sorry. That would be pathetic and sad. The very 20th century, 19th century even, well, <laughs> if they had phones, but that's not what I'm doing here. There's a perfectly good explanation why I happen to be in this specific location, and my phone just happens to be with me. <laughs> you know, all my friends are busy, and there's no good movies out right now anyway. I have a plethora of music to listen to, <laughs> you know, it, it's much more comfortable to sit here than it would be on my bed. My bed is very soft, but soft beds aren't very good for your back. So it's much better for me to sit here. And it just so happens that my phone is right here with me. That's all. That's all there is to it. presentation in history class. Your oral presentation? Uh -huh. You're quaking with certain fear because you have to speak in public? Uh-huh. This afternoon. In two hours, 23 minutes, and 17 seconds. Well, as long as it's nothing major. I didn't think, I didn't think it would be a problem. What's the problem? There's no problem. <laughs> I, I've, I've done the research, I've practiced in front of my bedroom mirror, but I didn't think, I didn't think that I would have to wait all day. Do you know what happens when you have to wait all day before you do something? Please, Cassie, tell us what happened. Howie, she asked. What happens is you start to think about what might go wrong whenever you're standing there in front of everyone. What if everyone gets incredibly bored? What if the teacher gets so bored that he starts making paper airplanes and dog launching them at me? I, what if my mouth goes dry and I can't say anything but squeak, squeak? And then I fail the presentation and I don't get into a good school and then I'm left to fend for myself for the rest of my life with some crappy entry-level cubicle job and a bachelor apartment on the wrong side of the tracks. That's what happens when you don't, when you have to wait. Wow. That's a lot of pressure to put on yourself over an oral presentation. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, really, wow. Cassie, uh -huh. you should talk to Mr. Besson about this and tell him your feelings on the situation. Maybe you don't have to do the presentation today. You mean, I have to wait until tomorrow? Why 
One ding a ling is all I need for you to make it right. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I'm here all week. Now, just before I go, I'd like to send out a little word, just a little word to all the guys out there in the world. When you meet that special someone, don't make them wait by the phone all alone. <laughs> to order. Okay. Oh, I now know what I want to order. Okie dokie. I was warned about this. A woman eating alone always has trouble getting served. Not to worry. I want tea at this snobby French restaurant. I will do so. table within the next minute. I can't be held responsible for the health of your customers. That's it. You can go. There. Who says women eating alone always have trouble getting served? Piece of cake. Now I need to go to the back. Madame Zubinka knows all. What I want to know is cash up front, honey, twenty-four fifty, including tax. Thank you. What is it? What is it? What do you want to know? Your hands are very descriptive. Your face is interesting shadows. Yes, this will be a most fascinating session. Ask your question and Madame Zubinka will answer. Okay. Okay, what I want to know is how long am I supposed to wait for the man of my dreams? Come again? My Prince Charming, my knight in shining armor, the one who's going to sweep me off my feet and make me happy for the rest of my life. How long am I supposed to wait? You watch too much TV. You're supposed to see into the future, so look into the future and tell me when he's going to come. Oh, honey, here, take your money back. Go put an ad in the paper. Better yet, stand on a street corner with a sign that says, Wanted, one man of your dreams. You'll be farther ahead than anything I could tell you. Chad said you could tell me. Chad said you were the best. Look, Chad gets paid to say that. I can do a great romance, and I can usually take a stab at children, but... How long you should wait for the man of your dreams? You think if I could do that, I'd be sitting here? Do you know how long I've been waiting for the man of my dreams? It ain't been a minute, and it ain't been pretty. What happened to your accent? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 that's just for show. The future's easier to believe when it comes from Eastern Europe. Don't ask me why, I just follow the trends. This is no good. I mean, if I had a timeline, you would wait X numbers of years and then open the door. I'd be willing to wait, but now it's so unpredictable and it's so unfair to sure. Who's sure? My boyfriend. Hold the phone. Why are you looking for a white knight when you already have a sherm? You have a sherm. Do you know how many people are out there looking for a white knight and have no backup sherm to lean on? 
Sherman's great. Don't get me wrong. He's sweet and kind and loves me and, and, and he's short. My friends make fun of me all the time because he can barely kiss me about standing on his tiptoes. He is not the one I've been waiting for. How do you know? His name is Sherm. The man of my dreams doesn't get off a white horse and say, hello, my name is Sherm. It doesn't work like that. You watch too much TV. I've just seen the light. I've got to go get my Mel. Hey, where are you going? What about my teacher? Who's Mel? Mel wants to marry me, and I've been putting him off and putting him off because, see, I've been waiting too. Only I've been waiting for one of those tall, dark, and handsome types. You see, you know what you want. Why settle? Because this whole wait for the man of your dreams thing is crackers in your head. Who says that the man of your dreams is ever going to come? What if you wait forever and you lose your charm and I lose my mel and we're both better all the women? You know, the kind with lots of cats and dust balls for company. Kids on the street will pass by our houses and snicker. I don't want that to happen to me. I'm going to marry a man who loves me and who I love. Who cares if he has a lisp? Do you love your charm? Yes, but I'm... No, no, no. Do you love your charm? Of course I do. And stop your whining and stop waiting on a man who's living in your head. I will wait no longer. Mel, fire up the RV and Johnny Cash, we're going to Vegas! Wait, wait! Waiting! 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 I can't wait any longer. Let's end the show. Blackout!